Looking out the window. Keep it coming down. I start a flare right about here. Now that's, there you go. Just hold that flare. Now up on the collective. Bring it to the left pedal about now. There you go. Good. Still on the right side of the runway for quite a bit. But. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, like I say, we've got a pretty good left crosswind blowing us yeah. over here. That's not too bad. Start your crosswind turn. And when do I lower my carb heat? Are you just doing that because well, of no, the temperature? Now you're going to raise the carb, carb heat. So it's got carb good. assist, so when you oh, lower the okay. collective, the, um, the aircraft actually brings the, the um, carb heat on up. And then yeah. when you raise the collective, it brings the carb heat back down a little bit. So that's why, you know. As we're climbing out, it's going to lower that collective. Or I'm sorry, lower the carb heat just a little bit. That's why you still got to put it on on the right. downwind. So, Keep to tower helicopter two and one Tango Bravo's midfield right down one runway one zero. One Tango Bravo clear for the option one zero. Clear for the option runway one zero Tango Bravo. Can you turn the assist off or? Uh-uh. Well, you can lock it off, but you know, the carburetor, the rule is if it's less than 80 degrees outside, and today it's less than 80, it's 26, yeah. <laughs> you use carb heat. How much you use, you know, well, at manifold pressure setting less than 18 inches, so it's like doing a, a landing in order to descent, you apply full carb heat. And in cruise, you should have enough carb heat to have you out of the yellow. Okay. So since we're doing landings, we're just applying full carb heat each time. So. Yeah, carb assist. Since Robinson came out with carb assist, I don't think there's been a, a carb ice accident yet where people had left the carb assist unlocked. So if you leave it unlocked and you forget to even put the carb heat on, it's going to put some on for you as you lower that collective down. So again, Robinson tried to idiot-proof the aircraft so that as long as you had it unlocked, it's, you're going to get some carb heat on even if you forgot to pull it yourself and put it on. The aircraft's going to put some on for you. And I don't think they've had any carb ice incidents or accidents since uh, since they've gone to the carb assist. But you got to leave it unlocked for it to work. You know, if you locked it off, it's not gonna <laughs> it's not gonna do anything. Uh, All right, looking good. So ready when you are. Two, one, and down. Come on down, 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 down. Back a little on the stick. Roll off. Up a little with the collective. Right, just kind of hold what you got there and let it all kind of settle in. See what kind of RPMs we get. All right, down a little with the nose, just a little bit to preserve that speed so we don't get slow. RPMs look good. I'd leave my collective pretty much right where I got it there. Looking out the window, I start a flare, just a little flare and flare into it. Got to hold that, hold it. Now up real slow with the collective, real slow. There you go, left pedal. My bad. Woohoo, that's a little too much left pedal, but that's okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you had the aircraft. Right, down a little with the collective there. All right. Won't put such a, big, such a big old yaw in there. If you really pull a bunch of collective, you get a big right yaw, you know. So. Big old hawk. All right. Good old make your crosswind turn when you're ready. Get your radio call and your car, Pete. Good to Tower, helicopter two and one Tango Bravo's midfield on the right down one for runway one zero. One Tango Bravo clear for the option runway one zero. Clear for the option runway one zero, Tango Bravo.
Have a mode 345 Cape Cod Mercedes requested uh, via Charlie to a little short of uh, runway 28. Aircraft uh, landing opposite direction, runway 10. I think the NTSB released a final report on Kobe Bryant. Uh, helicopter crash. Well, one Kobe wasn't flying, but he was on board the aircraft. Yeah. Uh, it's list of cause of spatial disorientation. I don't guess that's a surprise to anybody, because, you know, a very unfortunate accident. So you tell all the guys, man, if you bust instruments, you know, the altitudes we fly at, if you go inadvertent in IMC, you're never more than 20 seconds or so away from dead at any time. You get disoriented and come screaming out of the clouds, it's all over with pretty quick. EMS uh, fatality rate when going with inadvertent IMC is absolutely horrible. These are people that all have instrument ratings in aircraft with instruments, you know. It's just tough to train. You know, go in inadvertent IMC and they wait too long to transition and next thing you know you're just disoriented at all. Get out. All right, looking good. So whenever you're ready. Three, two, one, down, one the collective. Come on down. Roll back up with collective. A little bit of right pedal at the same time. Put nose down. Put a little stick. Airspeed looks good. RPMs look good. Right over the runway. Looking good. Just keep riding the glide. Here we started at a thousand, so we got a little longer to glide. Don't worry about the horn. You're good. All right, start the little flare, start a flare. Now up on the collective, nice and slowly. Left pedal. There we go. All right, good. Oh, more left pedal. They got that big old strong left crosswind, yeah. remember? They get a little loss of tail rotor effect on if you get, if you get really, really slow there at the end and you're pulling a bunch of collective with a Direct left crosswind, you have a little loss of tail rotor effect on this. Yeah. So, right. at the end of it, all you do when you lower that nose is just keep a little bit of speed, you know, and it'll right. tend not to do that. One of the best ways to avoid a loss of tail rotor effect on this, number one, is to avoid a left crosswind. That'll do it. But if you got to have a left crosswind, if you keep your speed up, ETL or above, your chances of having a loss of tail rotor effect on this are pretty darn low. They're never zero, but they're pretty low if you're above ETL. All right. Crosswind turn. It's kind of goofy that we're not using a runway because of the braking action on it. We're in a helicopter. Yeah. We do, you know, it doesn't really matter. But anyway. Cape Charter Tyler, helicopter 2 on one Tango Bravo's midfield right down one runway 10. One Tango Bravo clear for the option, runway 10. Clear for the option, runway 10, Tango Bravo. Alright. I could ask the tower, do you want me to do a full down slide across there and see what kind of braking action? 